Hey y'all, it's Anime K Man. Today I'm gonna be reviewing the 38th episode of Captain Sabasa. And in case y'all wondering, that's actually what you see on the screen is the Captain Sabasa episode 37 review, currently rendering in handbrake so that it's a bit quicker to upload it into YouTube. And currently, the tabs are pretty much my current my Captain Sabasa episode 37 live reaction going up. But I digress. Let me get on to the episode 38 review of Captain Boss Captain Sabasa. Now, I gotta fucking say, this episode surpassed my fucking expectations, cause after last week's episode, I mean, I kinda thought the Tachibana twins are gonna give Subasa struggles and all that. Because at the start I really didn't think they were gonna make him struggle until uh, they showed off the Skylab Hurricane, and that completely changed my mind. And then this episode brought its A game by actually Making it seem like Subasa was like in a situation where his career could have been threatened because when he like took a hit so that the Tachibana, one of the Tachibana twins heads didn't collide in the ground because they were falling from like a hard, huge distance. I was like, oh, and like the live reaction, I was like, oh man, like, well, I didn't physically feel the pain. Like my mom was like just numb for a second. I was like, whoa, that shit looked painful. So I kind of liked that about this episode because after that, when it made like made it seem like Subasa suffered a major injury, then it made him go to like this doctor, and then you heard him screaming. All those sequences made it seem like it could have been a super serious injury, until then you got Sane and her two friends show, um, appear in the room, and then they find out that it's just a minor injury and that Subasa can play as long as. He doesn't do anything, like, too reckless with his shoulder. And I kind of like that. Because at the very least, their Productions was framing it in their... Framing it to make it seem like something serious could happen. So props to them. Because some animes would, like, wouldn't even bother framing something that seems like a major injury. And then it turns out to be, like, something minor. They wouldn't really bother with that kind of framing. They would just, like... Have a character take a hit, then everything would be back to normal. So good job on that. Then aside from that, I like how that scene where Sabasa takes a hit from one of the Tachibana twins shows off how much of an upstanding citizen Sabasa is. Because even though we know that Sabasa's obsession is football, 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 this scene gave Sabasa some characterization in regards to, well, yes. He does care about football a shitload. He would be willing to sac possibly sacrifice his football career physically if, if say, if a person's life is in danger, Subasa would risk it all the way and he wouldn't give a regard about his own body if it's to save someone else's life. And I like those little subtle cues like that. Because it also gives Subasa some character development simultaneously, aside from characterization. It shows you how much he's grown as an individual as the series has progressed. And that's pretty sweet, in all in all. Then aside from that, I like how this episode makes things up with the Tachibana twins, at least making their Skylab Hurricane seem like a technique that isn't completely one note. Because when they mention that they also can do it from a low angle and they scored a goal against Morisaki, I was like, damn, son, that shit was still epic. And that was pretty cool to see. At the very least, the writing staff is all like, no, no, we're not just going to make, make them one. We're going to mix it up so that the Tachibana twins' technique is actually something that can be really, really effective. And that's, that's not easy to stop completely narratively. So that was a cool thing from the writing staff, too. Because had this episode had just ended off with, like, <clears throat> Subasa being able to block the Tachibana twins' um, assault by just jumping in the air and beating the, the Tachibana twins aerially, it would have made the match seem way too easy and it would have made the Tachibana twins pretty much go out in this match as bitches if it was that fucking easy. So props to the writing staff to that for that. At the very least, they made the Tachibana twins as a credible threat. And I like how this episode... I mean, it wasn't this episode, but I did mention last week that since Tsubasa doesn't have Misaki, it's going to be a bit tougher. And I like that, too. And then, other things that I enjoyed about this episode was, I enjoyed the animation quality. It was still strong and intense, and even though there was a good amount of 
reusage animation in regards to the scenes where the Tachibana twins, yeah, one of them jump on the other one's feet and then he jumps in the air. While that was reused a few times in the episode, from a narrative standpoint, it makes sense because since this is their you know, main technique, it would make sense for an for animators to reuse it and for a football player to reuse it constantly. So in this context, the reusage of stock footage is actually really fucking good. Now don't get this twisted. <clears throat> when other animes do this shit, reuse stock footage, majority of the times it is pretty god awful. Like in instances like when Toei reuses stock footage like in a transformation sequence for like... There was this one time in like Cinnamon Crystal where they used it for like 4 minutes, that's when it's used badly. But this shows you that David Productions knows what they're doing because they used it fucking properly and I was fucking happy. So that was another plus and I like how from a narrative standpoint they did the adjust the animation a bit when they used it from like a lull attacking angle. So so those are more positives about this Captain Tsubasa episode. As for other things, the performances were great like when Tsubasa's actress was screaming to convey the pain that Tsubasa felt. It really sent chills down my spine and I really felt for for our boy. And then when one of the Tachibana twins well, kind of felt sad about Subasa possibly having a major injury, the the actress or the actor, whoever it is, whoever was conveying the emotion, did it well, even though it was like a subtle emotion. So that was pretty cool. And even the ref, like, not even a side character, just like this character. Even, like, they casted someone... Because pretty, they must have cast someone pretty good. Because when they told Tsubasa that you're gonna have to leave the match temporarily to go to a doctor, I like that shit. Because for one, whoever that actor was did a good job conveying seriousness in that little situation. So even props to that. Like when it comes to casting, even down to like the smallest fucking thing, the casting agency, whoever's in charge of the casting, always does a fantastic job. Props to that, that they even get the little details right. And then aside from that, this episode made some pretty good, because aside from the character standpoint being pretty good, this episode also did well from a story standpoint. We got through majority, we got through the whole first half, we got through most of the second half, and it sets itself up nicely for um, for the ending of the match for next week, because it in the preview even says, the conclusion of the match. So I like that. We made a good progression. The score is tied up, so next week's going to be tense as fuck on who's going to score the goal first. And all that kind of jazz. And taking all these elements into consideration, good plot progression, good characterization for Sabasa and the Tachibana twins, because you see one of them worried about Sabasa for a second. <clears throat> we have good animation for the most part. And the art was good because even that, Art in this episode was so good that there was multiple instances where I'm debating, man, what should I use as a fucking thumbnail? Taking all these factors into consideration, I'm gonna give this episode a 9 out of 10. Step above last week, and it makes me fucking hyped to see what they're gonna do for next week for the conclusion of this match. So, anyways, guys and gals, these are my thoughts on the episode. Comment down your thoughts on the episode below in the comment section. Rate the video, subscribe if you wanna see more reviews and reactions. Share the video if y'all want to, and I'll see you guys later. If you subscribe for more, or hit the bell. Bye-bye.